In this video, we will learn about the distance sensor or motion sensor. Remember, the distance sensor acts like your eyes. It can detect objects that are within about six inches. Okay. Simply plug the cable from the distance sensor into the smart hub. Then simply pair your smart hub with the LEGO WeDo 2.0 app. Let's go there now. When you've connected your smart hub to your app and have the distance sensor connected to the smart hub, you can see it displayed in the lower right hand corner. Right now it has a reading of 10, which is a maximum because there's nothing that's very close to the sensor. Everything is far away. As I start to bring my hand closer to the sensor, you'll see the numbers start to drop and eventually get all the way down to two, one, and zero. Okay, and as I take the hand back away, the number goes back up. So the distance sensor can tell you when something's far away or there's nothing, it has a value that's high, like 10, and when there's something very close, it has a value that's low, like zero or one. We can use the distance sensor during WeDo programming. Instead of a simple coding block where we tell the motor to spin forever, maybe we want to wait until the distance sensor senses something and then have the motor spin. To do that, we grab the hourglass symbol and insert that into our programming code. That tells us right now to wait for one second. We don't want to wait for a certain time, so we can remove this blue part and dispose of it and instead insert the symbol of our distance sensor. And by tapping on the distance sensor symbol, it will scroll through several options. The first one shown is any distance change. So if we had a program like this, when we start it, it will wait until there's any change in the number that, that the distance sensor is reading. So right now it's at 10. Anytime it changes to a different number, then the motor would spin. We can also tap on the distance sensor get to this one. I'll describe it last because it's a little more complicated. This next one is a distance change getting closer. So here, when you run this program, it will wait until the distance number is getting less. Right now it's at 10. It will wait until it gets to a smaller number and then the motor would spin. If we tap it one more time, that's the distance change to get further away. So now here the program will wait until the number gets larger. The distance sensor output number is getting larger when things are getting further away. Obviously 10 is as big as it gets, so this program would unfortunately wait forever. Okay, But if the number started at a much smaller number, if I put my hand in front of the sensor and have the distance sensor reading one, now as soon as that number starts to go up to two, three, or four, now the motor would start spinning. Here's a sample code that uses the messaging blocks. There's a lot to look at here. Let's start in the upper left hand corner. When you press the green arrow, then the distance sensor will take a readout. Right now it's reading 10 and will send that as a message. So the envelope goes out, it'll be picked up by the far right column. There's number 10. Anytime the numbers are high, like eight, nine, or 10, that means objects are far away. And then the motor is going to turn in a counterclockwise direction and try to bring the objects closer. If it gets closer, the number starts to go down to like, now it's at six. If here you press the green arrow, to, it'll send a message of number six. That'll be in the middle column where uh, if it's four, five, six, or seven, it's gonna tell the motor to stop because it's at just the right distance. If the object were too close, then when you press the green arrow, you'll get a readout of two in this case, and that will trigger the left-hand column where the motor will spin clockwise to bring the objects further away again until it's just right. I hope you find this introduction to the distance sensor and how to use it in coding in the LEGO WeDo 2.0 app helpful. The distance sensor is a powerful tool and it will make your LEGO creations come alive if used properly. Good luck!
keep on building.